Well, it's that time. It's time for another bridge tip. Defense. Defense is hard, but I love defense. Today, we're going to talk about the setting trick. Don't we love to get the setting trick? Well, we're going to have some hints and how you can do better at getting those setting tricks. Defense really is the hardest part of the game. Each hand is a puzzle with an abundance of clues. Use those clues and you'll win the defense. If you're a good defender, it's almost impossible to be a losing player. More tricks are dropped on defense than on bidding and play combined. Everybody knows if you're a good defender, you're going to be the one they want to play with. But just remember these hints. You can't defend properly if you don't count everything you can. What should you count? When I say everything, I mean everything. You have to count your points. You have to count the expected points from the opponents. Did they bid? Did they bid a no trump? Did they limit their hand? Did they make a simple raise? And then when the dummy comes down, you count their points. You count the expected points from partner. Do you see points on the lead? All of those things count everything you can. Everything. You also can't defend properly if you don't remember the auction. The auction has an invaluable source of information for you to use. It really does. If you think about it, did an opponent pass first? Did they pass and then show up with 11 points? If they passed originally and they showed up with 11 points, then you know that your partner might have some of those other points that they didn't open with. Remember the auction for distribution. Remember the auction to the bid stamen. The auction, the auction, the auction. You also can't defend properly if you and your partner don't have firm agreements. You have to know what your signaling agreements are. Do you play standard, upside down, odd, even? Do you play jack denies? Do you play in the middle of the hand? If you play a low card, you like it. If you in the middle of the hand, you start with a high card, you don't like it. All of these agreements on your conventions and your carding, all signaling is really, really, really important imperative for good defense. Another little hint is, if you know the right defense, do it. Don't wait and hope partner will get it right. That never happens. <laughs> and another thing you have to do, as in every other bridge hand, you have to make a plan. You think you only have to make plans when you're playing the hand. You have to plan your defense. You've got to kill the enemy. You want to have the killing defense. What are the clues that we can use to make our plan? We talked about some of them. What are they? Hmm, 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 hmm. Did somebody show a two-suited hand? Did somebody show a very good hand, a weak hand? Did they preempt? Did they bid and look for slam? Clues, clues, clues are everywhere. Don't leave home without them. Okay. Here's an example of how we can take control of our own defense. This is one of those so that we don't want to hope that partner might get it right. We're going to guarantee that partner has to get it right. Well, anyway, we're going to hope that the way we play the hand that they're going to get it. Okay, so let's take a look at the auction because remember I told you the auction has a wealth of information and a lot of clues. West opens a spade and your favorite partner bids two clubs. East raises spades and you raised clubs and they competed to three spades and that end the auction. Your partner leads the king of clubs. All right, so how many tricks do you need 
to defeat the contract. Remember, always have your eye on the prize. Well, you need five tricks if they're at the three level. So we have to look for five tricks. Well, partner leads the king of clubs. What do you think? What other card does partner probably hold if they led the king of clubs? It's likely they have the queen. And they did bid the suit. Okay, do we see a possibility for five? The declarer is not likely to hold three clubs because your partner showed five and you have three and there's three of the dummy, but they might have two clubs. So if we can get two clubs, do you need to see another suit that we can take three tricks in? Look, 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 I see it. Do you see that we have the ace, king, jack of hearts over the queen third? Mm -hmm. Well, if I was defending this hand, I would overtake my partner's king of clubs because I'm sure I can get back to them with the queen unless Declare is going to rough a second club. So I'm going to overtake his king with my ace and I'm going to play the king of hearts. Why am I playing the king of hearts? Well, that should wake up partner. I hope your partner can get this play right that you hold the ace and the jack surrounding the queen that's on the dummy. You want your partner to come back and lead a heart for you. You know, if they played the king of clubs and the queen of clubs, and then they sit there not knowing what other card to play, well, don't make them guess. Tell them what to do. Take control. If you know what to do, do it. Okay, so you're going to overtake the king of clubs with the ace, cash the king of hearts, go back to your favorite partner with his queen of clubs, and he should return the heart for you. If he doesn't, you're going to need a new partner for the next game. You should take three hearts and two clubs. Well done. Okay, here's another example of excellent carding to defeat the enemy. The contract here is four spades and West was on lead with the ace of hearts. So again, you need to take how many tricks? They're in four spades. You need to take four tricks. Okay, so your partner leads the ace of hearts, let's say. What card should East play? He should play, drum roll, the queen, the queen of hearts. Why? The queen of hearts says I either had a singleton queen or I started with the queen jack. Now, why is that important? Well, it's very likely, as in this example, the partner led from the ace king. When they lead an ace, they usually have the king. And it might be important for them to be able to get to our hand. We have no real entries. We don't have that much at all. And so he might want to have me on lead with the queen of hearts so that I can do what? As in this hand, he sees that formidable club suit and he's got three tricks hopefully in his hand and he needs to find us a fourth trick. Well, if he plays the ace, king of hearts, what's he going to do next? Is he going to just have to cash his ace of diamonds and hope I have the ace of clubs? Not likely that I have the ace of clubs. They're in game. Okay, they have good hands. However, I have a very good card to help him with. So if I lead, if he leads the ace of hearts and I play the queen, he can with confidence, 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 underlead his king of hearts to my jack, my known jack, because I wouldn't play the queen without the jack. And I'm going to sizzle the queen of diamonds right through the declarer's king. You see that? We would never be able to capture that king if we just lazily played the ace and the king of hearts and I didn't help my partner out at all by playing the queen for him. So in this case, with great carding, we're going to defeat the enemy. So it'll go ace of hearts. I'll drop the queen. He'll come back to me with the jack of hearts, and I'll put the queen of diamonds on the table. Doesn't always work, but it's worth a shot. Just banging down the ace, king of hearts, and the ace of diamonds certainly isn't going to set the hand. 
Okay. Another one. When it looks like no hope, play partner for the card you need them to hold. Partners are good sometimes. They actually have it. All right. Here you are, West. We're going to make you West. And you here, North, South, have a strong auction. It's gone one spade, Jacoby, two no, showing an open handed four trump. South bids three clubs showing shortness. North looking for slam Q bids the hearts, bids three hearts. South says, I really don't have much to say. I don't have diamond control. I said my all when I opened this hand and that's the way it is. Now you're gonna look and say, how come South opened one spade? They could have opened two spades. They were greedy and wanted to open at one because they like their hand, but they signed off as quickly as they could. Now, are they gonna be sorry that they opened at one so that they got to game? I've got news for you, if they opened at two, they'd still end up in game. The North hand is too huge, but a lot of people would let them make it, but you're not going to let them make it. So, you know, they have an abundance of points, a lot more than you, but you hold the ace, king, queen. So how many more points can they have? You have a 10 count. Okay. And this one's trying for slam. This one opened the bidding. Your partner's going to be bereft of a lot of high card points. However, some things are good in the future for this hand, for the defense, if they think about it. So you're West and you're going to lead three rounds of diamonds and you're pleasantly surprised that everybody followed to all three. <laughs> that is good. Well, where's that fourth trick going to come from? Ta -da, ta da Maybe an uppercut. Do you know what an uppercut is? An uppercut is when you can promote a trump trick in your hand that you wouldn't normally be able to get if the enemy got in and just pulled your trump. But let's take a look at this. If West plays a fourth diamond, a fourth diamond, and East, knowing it's the fourth diamond, but it's good, but says, well, I've got nothing to lose. I'm putting my queen of spades on the table because it's certainly not going to take a trick or be helpful if they pull trump. But here, if my partner has... Uh, some kind of honor holding in the spade suit, I might be helping him to make a trick. Well, that's what Wes thought. Wes thought if East held like the stiff king of spades or the queen in one spade, any kind of honor that's, you know, not the ace that normally they wouldn't get, that he could try for the uppercut. And it works. Here, ace, king, queen, of diamonds, you play the fourth diamond and east roughs with the queen, which makes south over rough with the king of spades. And take a look at what happens. West jack of spades becomes good. So even though you led the fourth diamond, your partner better trumpet. He's got nothing else to lose. Why would you want to give the declarer a slough and a rough? So he's got to think, East has to think, well, why did he do that? Aha, uh -huh. maybe he wants me to rough because he wants that uppercut. If your partner doesn't play that queen of spades on your fourth diamond, I guess you'll have to find a new partner again. Okay. Like I said, you should count everything you can. In this hand, you need to count declarers tricks that you can see what does that mean well let's take a look at the auction and take a look at the north hand north opened a club uh east over called a spade south made a negative double north bid three clubs and south bid three no trump okay well east bid so their partner me dutifully led a spade. I led the seven of spades because why? Because on opening lead, I lead high. I don't have anything in the suit. So I probably have a high low. I have a doubleton or a singleton, but I led the seven. 
and declarer played low and east has to make the decision they're either going to be the hero or the bah, goat why do i say that well let's take a look at north north has how many for sure club tricks they have six I don't know the king of diamonds as east, so I know that they also have two diamond tricks. That's eight, okay? If they had to take a finesse in diamonds or if the Clara has the king of diamonds, it's working. If I put in the jack of spades and let the Clara take the king, which I know he has because number one, I'm staring at the queen on the board and I have the ace jack 10 and he did bid no trump, so... It stands to reason that he has the king of spades. Okay. So if I put in the spade spot and let him win his king, how many tricks is that for declarer? That's nine. We don't like that at all. Okay. So, well, if we want to defeat him, we have to think of plan B. I think I'll win my ace of spades and I'll look at that dummy and say those clubs and the diamonds and the spades are no good. Maybe my favorite partner has some heart cards. So I'm going to win the ace of spades and switch, switch to a low heart. That's the only suit that I can hope that my partner has a good holding in. And lo and behold, great partner because it's me okay i held the perfect cards for east but you need to lead a low heart not the ace you want to capture all of south's heart cards you lead low and take a look at the heart holding what is declare put in whichever spot card he puts in you're going to be able to cover with your king jack nine over the queen ten eight so He's going to put in a heart. You're going to win. You're going to come back to my ace of hearts over there by east and play another heart. And you're going to collect four hearts and one spade for down one. Five tricks for the defense. If you lazily just put in a spade spot and didn't take a look at that formidable dummy with all those tricks, you would not have defeated the enemy. Okay, here we're going to have the auction guide us to help us make the right defensive play. Let's see how the auction went. It went pass, pass, one heart. Pass, one spade. Pass, two diamonds by west. Pass, three diamonds by east, raising. And now west bid, three, no trump. So what do we know? We know that west probably holds at least five hearts because they opened a heart and they probably have four diamonds. They rebid diamonds. They might only have three, but we know they have diamonds and then they bid no trump. So I think because they bid diamonds first and then no trump showing some club cards, I think they do have four diamonds. And North led their fourth best. They led the two of clubs and the dummy comes down and you can see East. <laughs> well, I'm going to win my ace of clubs, and I've studied the auction, and I think that West has a singleton spade. I don't know which one it is, but I think it's a singleton spade. So I know that my partner holds at least three. I don't know, but I'm going to try and play the ace of spades. If my partner doesn't like it and they have the king of clubs, I can always switch back to clubs. Well, look what happens. I lay down the ace of clubs and the stiff king appears. I got rewarded for thinking about the auction. I hit gold. Now you just play a spade and hope that your partner has that queen and it wasn't king-queen tight that the opponent was trying to fool you with. And you play a low spade to your partner's queen. He leads a spade back to you and you take four spades and one club. Down one. Hmm. If partner 
doesn't lead a spade back when you've led to him, and he returns another club when you've denied the king of clubs, because if you held the ace and the king of clubs, you would have won the first trick with the king of clubs, then you again are going to have to find a new partner. I hate when that happens. Here we have a fun thing to do. Okay, West is in the hot seat. Remember the eye on the prize. We want to set and defeat the enemy. Okay. Well, South passed, West passed, and North opens a spade, and East bids two hearts. South Q bids, showing a limit raise with his partner, bids three hearts, and North bids four spades. Okay, so the final contract is four spades. Okie dokie. I am going to lead as east. What would you lead? You're going to lead the ace of hearts. Isn't that a good start? You're going to look at the dummy. And you see that there's only two hearts in the dummy. And now you're going to cash the king of hearts. Okay. This is the time for West to step up to the plate. He looks at his very, very sad hand, and he goes, I'm not going to be able to help partner at all defeat the enemy. Uh, well, that's not necessarily true. If he's on the ball and he's sharp and he came to this lesson, he might think of a way. Remember, his partner bid two hearts. He's, he probably has other cards, other cards, other than what? Other than heart cards. And he sees the dummy and he sees all those diamonds. If his partner has the ace of diamonds, he's always going to get it. But he can help partner by doing what? He can help partner by roughing partner's second heart, even though it's partner's good trick. Why? Because he can now play a club for partner. This is important. Why? Because in case partner has the holding that he has, he doesn't want his partner to be stuck and be end played and not have an out card and have to give them the contract. And you can see that if he doesn't have the ace of diamonds, then they're going to pitch everything away. It still works. Even if your partner had the ace of diamonds and the king of clubs, you still need to play a club for him so that he can make his king of clubs good. But in this case, he has the ace and the queen of clubs. And right away, you rough your trick, your partner's trick. They give you a dirty look, of course. And then when they play a club through, and you win your ace queen, you are going to thank them and maybe they will be a good partner for you because they made the right play and you won't have to go to the partnership desk. So if you get that, you play the ace of hearts as east and then you play the king of hearts and you can see it's a doubleton and dummy. You cannot over rough the dummy. If, you, if your partner played a third heart, you as West, you can see you can't over rough the dummy. But what you can do is rough the second heart and lead a club for partner. You're so clever. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And I want you to go and defeat the enemy. If you have a particular topic that you'd like to talk about, please, please give me a call or an email and I'll try to get it for you. Thanks for watching.